Hi, my name is Amar. In the previous video, I discussed about state management in Flutter using GetX library. Now, in the previous video, I have written the code of UI and the business logic in the same Dart file. Okay. Now, writing the UI code and the business logic in the same Dart file is not a good practice. In this particular video, I will discuss how to separate the UI code and the business logic by using the GetX controller. Okay. Now, here in this particular uh, video, I will use the same code which I have written in my previous video. Now, as you can see, this is a student.dart file where I have created uh, two variables name and age and I have declared these variables as observable or reactive. Okay. This means I am making this class observable by making the individual variables as observable. Okay. Now, after that, I have created a class named as my controller. This class is extending the getx controller. Now, this controller class is provided by the getx library. Okay. After that, what I have done, I have created the object of the student class. And after that, what I have done, I have created a function named as convert to uppercase. And inside this function, I am using student.name.value equals to student.name.value.to uppercase. This means this particular function will convert the name property of the student class in uppercase. Okay. After that, I am going to the main.dart file. In this main.dart file, what I have done, uh, here I have created the object of the my controller class. The my controller class which I have created here. As you can see, this is the my controller class. In the main.dart file, I have created the object of the my controller class. And to create the object, I have written my controller, my controller equals to get.put. After that, the type. The type is what? My controller. Okay. This particular statement will create the object of the my controller class. And once the object of the my controller class is created, I can access all the methods of this my controller class. Okay. Now inside the build method, as usual, we have our get material app. Then in the body, there is a center widget. Then as a child of the center widget, there is a column widget. And as a children of the column widget, I have taken a text widget, right? In the text widget, I have written name is after that my controller dot student dot name. This means I am accessing the name property of the student class by using my controller. Now, here I have placed the text widget inside the OBX. Why? Because whenever the value of this name property of the student class changes, at that time, this text widget will be automatically updated because it is placed inside OBX. Okay. And here there is the raised button. Inside the raised button, as a child, I have taken a text widget having the text as upper. And in the on pressed method, what I have done, I have written my controller dot convert to uppercase. Now, as you can see inside the my controller class, this method is there. Whenever this method will be called, what it will do? This method will convert the student name to uppercase. And since the value of the name property changes and the name property is observable, what it will do? It will update the text widget since it is placed inside OBX. Okay. Now, if I run this up to this, and if I can show you the output and you can see name is after that Tom, my controller dot student dot name. As you can see, the value of the name property is Tom. That's why name is Tom is displayed. Now, whenever I will click on this particular button, that is the upper button, what it will do, what it will do, as you can see, what it will do, it will call the convert to uppercase function of the my controller. And this convert to uppercase function, this function will convert the name property of the student class to uppercase. And since the value of the name property changes, this text widget will be automatically updated since it is placed inside OBX. Let me show you. If I click here, then you can see it is converted to uppercase. Okay. Now, this is the case when you have declared the student class as observable by making the individual variables as reactive. Now, what I will do, 
I will simply comment this. Now I will uncomment this. Now here what I will do, I will make the entire class observable. How to do that? Here simply I have created the constructor of the student class, right? And in the my controller, I will comment this one and I will uncomment this. Here you can see I have created the object of the student class and while calling the constructor of the class, I have passed the value and I have created the class observable by using dot OBS. Okay. And after that, I have created convert uppercase function and here I am calling the update function. Inside the update function, this update function I have discussed in my previous video as well. Inside this update function, I have written student.name equals to student.name dot to string dot to uppercase. This means actually this convert upper function is converting the name property of the student class to uppercase, right? Now I am going to main dot dart file. Now here, as usual, you need to create the object of the my controller class. Now here I will write instead of name here we need to write dot value just taking some time to populate value dot name okay and now there is no need of this because I am using the second one so I will uncomment this that is if the entire class is observable we will call the convert uppercase function okay now let me do a hard refresh it will take some time to run now let me show you the output as you can see name is Tom now once I click on upper button the name is converted to uppercase okay this is how we can separate the UI code and the business logic code by using getx controller okay I will discuss more about this controller in my upcoming videos and this is the code for the my controller file this is the code for student dot dot and this is the code for main dot dot file okay I have used the same code which I have written in my previous videos, same UI code. Okay. This is the entire code. I hope you have liked my video. If you have liked my video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.